Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. So today I have the K-Bar Jaros Tanto Folder. And this was sent in by a supporter of the channel, so I just wanted to give a shout out to Victor for sending this in to get it uh, customized. So really quick, we'll put the uh, specs up on screen and we'll get right into it. So we have a Tanto style blade made of OS 8A steel, nice hollow grind a flat grind here at the tip so very a thin edge super sharp you have dual thumb studs for deployment and this knife is riding on nylon washers the handles are made of GFN material nicely contoured so it makes it very comfortable in hand it's got a non-reversible non deep carry pocket clip but you can go tip down or tip up so you do have options there and for the backspacer, you do have the GFN material for the backspacer as well. And then you have a nice little space here for your lanyard. Now the ergos on this knife are actually really, really good. The pocket clip is a bit wide and it does stick up pretty high. Or not too high. But you can notice it in your palm. But it doesn't, it doesn't really get annoying. It's actually really comfortable. And I think it's due to the fact that it's so wide and... I guess arced just right and you can get downward pressure even though there's no jimping you get a lot of a lot of control with this blade the action on it for just being nylon washer is actually really good so you can thumb flick it or spidey flick it there we go just gotta get used to it but it is doable so the changes I'll be doing for this knife are gonna be I'm sure you guys have guessed it it's gonna be fat carbon material but this is really, really cool stuff. This is the Raindrop in Copper. They do have it in brass, I believe, and other other materials, but Victor wanted the brass version, and I think this just looks really, really good. I definitely need to get this material and put it on one of my own personal knives, because this is just beautiful. And again, you can't go wrong with Fat Carbon. They make some awesome stuff. So I'll be doing this for the new scales. And then I'll be creating a copper backspacer to go with the scales. So it'll all tie in together. So now that we know what we're going to be doing to this blade, let's take it apart and see what we have on the inside. Alright, so here it is all taken apart. Fairly simple. The first time I ever had to use a, what's a T5, T4 sized bit for these little screws here that hold the knife together actually through the backspacer. So that is a first for me. But other than that, very simple design. Uh, so now that it's taken apart, let's get to customizing it.
All right, so here we are all customized. Now we'll get straight to the scales since they're the most interesting part, I think, of the build. But as you guys can see, it just has a really, really cool finish. Almost looks like actual raindrops, hence the name, but it just looks really, really cool. And it kind of reminds me of spider whip too. So the silkiness of it, uh, if that makes any sense. But I did add that texture, that but just just a light touch of texture, uh, just to get some grip because this is pretty smooth by itself. Uh, let me know down below what you guys think. Uh, I can't I can't stop looking at this stuff, but just really really cool material. Yet again, Fat Carbon has not disappointed. Just love their stuff. And then with the backspacer, I was gonna create one out of pure copper, but I figured since the thickness of the scale or the material that I had was the same thickness as the original backspacer, I just decided to use this because not only does it complement the knife, but it's lighter too since it is carbon fiber. So really cool, same texture, just a little more aggressive with the texture on the backspacer but you do get that really cool look in the right light. And then I heat anodized the hardware to kind of match the copper, uh, but I can't go too dark. It's kind of brassy, purpley-ish. Um, it does look good against the, the blade though, or the scales. Uh, I did the screws, basically all the hardware, uh, but my favorite part is the thumb studs. So I took them off and then I heat anodized them and they just got a really, really nice look to them. Orangey, almost copper-ish to it. Uh, the stone wash, the etch, everything came out really, really good, as you guys can see. Just love the way it came out. Did the pocket clip, I did the aligners as well, and it's really cool because you get to see the logo through it, which is really, really nice. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much it. Let's get this thing together and uh, see what this thing looks like. All right, so here it is all put together. And as you can see, the heat anodized hardware is definitely contrasting against the darker uh, carbon fiber and the copper and the scales. I did the smaller screws as well. They're a little bit darker. And then that thumb stud looks really, really good. Really happy with the outcome on the thumb stud. Um, one thing that I really liked about this material, and I know Fat Carbon makes a different version, so they don't cut it on the side cut, they do the just your standard layered cut. But as you can see from right here, kind of looks like snake skin. And again, I know they sell uh, brass and copper, maybe some other ones that look like snake skin. So I definitely might have to uh, pick up that version as well and do a knife with that. But really happy with this raindrop, copper, carbon fiber. And then obviously you guys can see on the inside how that copper just does its thing, or the carbon fiber, sorry. So we can get a closer look. Just looks really, really cool. And then I countersunk just, just a hair on the backspacer. If the camera can get it, but, cause I just didn't want it to pop up too high above the liners. But really, really happy with that as well. Pocket clip, again, looks really good with the hardware contrasting against that and the action on it is a little bit better since the customer wanted me to uh, lighten up on the tension so I just bent the lock bar just a hair back uh, and you have to be careful when you do that because if you overextend it then 
then you start messing with things. So I just moved it back just a hair and the drop shed on it is pretty good. It was pretty stiff uh, even before I messed with it. So in general, it's just a stiff knife, but the action is smooth, flies right out, makes a really unique sound. Let's see if I can do it for you guys. But just a really solid lockup. But I'm sure it'll get smoother over time. You can spidey foot it no problem. And yeah, there it is. Again, let me know what you guys think down below. Always appreciate your guys' input and ideas. One cool thing about etching the blade is that the logos actually came out a coppery color too. So what are the odds of it going really, really well with the basically the whole flow of the blade uh, and the scales. So yeah, this one was really, really cool. Appreciate you guys watching. Uh, truly, truly appreciate you guys' support. Can't thank you guys enough. And as always, I will see you guys on the next one.